Hey guys, Coop here. This video is going to uh, be me asking for a little help. And uh, it's not really help for myself. I had a friend uh, on Facebook, David uh, Piper, sent me a uh, message, you know, asking for anyone paracord into paracord to uh, please help and uh, it's a pretty powerful message I didn't know anything about it and he till he brought it to my attention there seems we, we have one of our uh, our soldiers over in uh, Afghanistan Iraq wherever it's at and uh, he was captured back in 2009 and he's been held as a prisoner of war since 2009 and our government you know hasn't done much of anything to help bring him home and now the help that I'm asking for you know it's mainly to paracordists or anybody that wants to help out uh, David's asked you know me for help and I'm planning on doing some bracelets myself but uh, nobody's asking for money okay uh, if you don't have any money, that's fine. Nobody's asking you for money. They're just asking that uh, to try and bring some awareness to this so the government gets involved trying to get this young man back home where he belongs. So they're asking everybody to donate bracelets. And I don't have one made yet, but it's, it's a basic bracelet. I'll put a picture of it right up here. And uh, it's just a basic Cobra, Cobra Knot bracelet. It's got a, a white uh, ribbon in the middle. And it's got three white stripes on one side, three yellow stripes on the other. The white stripes are for captivity of how many years, I believe, and the other three signi you know, signify his, uh, his rank in the military, which is sergeant. And uh, this young man, it really, it really saddens me that the American public don't know more about things like this. And the reason being is because the government doesn't want us to know. Because then we put pressure on them to do the right thing. But the Rolling Thunder Motorcycle Club are trying to push to get this young man back home. And David has asked everybody to make paracord bracelets because he's trying to make 20,000 paracord bracelets and send to the Rolling Thunder Motorcycle Club so they can wear them to bring awareness to what's going on for Sergeant what's his name uh, Bergda Bergdahl Bergdahl and uh, right now they're just wearing the little rubber band bracelets and he he thought it fitting that everybody step up and you know do the paracord braces because as you all know the paracord bracelets are a survival tool uh, survival bracelets they're based from the military and it, it's a good gesture and I think it's a very good idea and uh, Nobody's asking anybody to send anything to us or David Piper, uh, the Rolling Thunder Motorcycle Group or Motorcycle Club. They have chapters all over the United States. The link to their website will be down below, and you just go to your state and find the nearest chapter, and you can send your bracelets directly to them. That's what I'm doing. I've got one right here in Valrico. I'm just going to send my bracelets straight to them, and. Uh, just whatever you can do. If you can't make bracelets, make a video. Okay, get the word out. Go on Facebook. Spread it on Facebook. Share this video on Facebook if you don't want to make a video. Anything to get the word out to try and help get this young man home. Anyway, guys, I appreciate everybody's support and taking the time to watch this video. It means a lot to me. Uh, David Piper, I'll put the link to his Facebook down below. If you guys have any comments or questions, you can get a hold of him. Uh, I'll put the links to uh, Sergeant Bogdow's uh, videos that I found where they're, they're showing him in captivity and stuff. I'll put the links to the Rolling Thunder Motorcycle Club down below. You guys go check them out. But this young man needs to have our government step in and do something and stop worrying about who's going to be the next president. You know, they need to step up and say, let's get this young man home. All right, guys, you want to put your comments and questions down below. I'd be more than happy to answer them. 
I appreciate your support. I appreciate you watching my videos. It means a lot to me. If it wasn't for you guys, there would be no Mr. Coop. You know we've got the Facebook page up and going now. The link for that will be down below. If you guys want to go over and hit the like button, go ahead. If you don't, you just waste a couple minutes of your time. And for all that, my friends, old Coop's going to say, Coop out.